Howdy Bloomer Show. It is Wednesday, middle of the week. Gorgeous day here in the Buffalo, New York area. I hope it's nice where you are. I hope you're not sweating in intense heat or getting flooded. Enjoy the summer. Football season has started, which usually, if in this area, if you had an above-ground football, uh, above-ground swimming pool, uh, it's time to close it up because at nighttime it gets in the 50s and unless you had a heater, you're going to get a little bit of a tinge when you get in that pool in the morning. I've noticed today in the news that the Ford Motor Company is losing about $2 billion a year on electric vehicles. And I'm thinking to myself, what it could have been predicted because the federal government is forcing us to buy cars that we can't afford because they've got this insane push to become an all-electric country. How they figure you're going to do that without natural gas, coal, oil is beyond me. But that's what they're doing. That's what you have in this administration. Now there's activists heading up departments. China is building a nuclear plant about 12 or 13 of them. They build a coal-fired plant every two weeks. So what they are doing is, if they are going to go to electric, they're doing it in the right way. Instead of penalizing their people and forcing them to buy cars that they don't want and they can't afford, they're going to do a gradual infusion of new energy that's going to be low cost, that we're going to have plenty of for the next 200 years and not kill their customers and not make sure they're bankrupting their people. And here the United States is punishing, punishing its, its consumers, punishing the people because they have ideologies that just don't work, that just aren't parked in reality. It's just amazing to me how they can ruin this country. Think about it. Think about what you're paying now. Now gas is up. It was up 17 cents the last week. A couple places here in the Buffalo, New York area, it's four bucks a gallon. I can't imagine what it's like out in California. And they're penalizing you. Idiocy. Idiocy. And I, I predict the electric vehicle here in the United States is going to go the way of the pet rock. I mean, it's insane. One of my neighbors has an electric vehicle, and three times a year, some tow truck comes in on a flatbed and takes it. I used to ask him the first two or three times, what's going well, I need this, I need that. And now he just says, don't ask. So it's just insanity. You can't plan a trip. I, I guess you can have roadmaps or so about where you can charge it up, assuming that you know exactly when you can go to charge it up and that nobody's going to be there. That doesn't work out. It's just crazy what's going on, and I think the EV is going to go the way of the pet rock. Well, Trump got indicted again last night on things that are totally asinine. I'm looking at the commentary on the news, and they had a solicitor general under the uh, Obama administration praising the indictment, saying it was a big step forward for liberty. And on a competing network, there was an attorney, a former district attorney, who knew this solicitor general. Solicitor general acts on behalf of the government in front of the Supreme Court, who knew him and said he is an out-and-out -out liar, that he caught him in cases that he didn't even read, and he made stuff up. That's how much they hate Trump. They're picking out people that will even lie about him. And this indictment is a sham. It shouldn't even hold. It should be thrown out. But they're going before a, a judge that was appointed during Obama. Obama appointed this judge, and you think that she's going to cross this Justice Department? The sad part is that this Justice Department now, the Department of Justice, the FBI, the entire legal system of the federal government is now part of the Joe Biden re-election campaign. And this always comes out with Trump a day or two after the Hunter Biden crap hits the fan. They want to take you off of Hunter and big Joe Biden and put you back on Donald Trump. And the theory is, I've heard, 
that they want Trump on the front page. They want Trump to be the nominee so that when the election comes and he's in court in front of all these fogey indictments, that the independent voters are going to go back to Biden. Well, the independent voters gas up just like I do. They see what's happening to our country. They realize that if you want to buy an electric vehicle, you need a battery. 85% of the batteries are made in China. Joe Biden vetoed a bill that would make them come over here and make them. Nope, they got to go to China. I wonder what that, why that is. You think Hunter and the hundreds of phone calls he made? Do you think the 20 phone calls Joe Biden was asked to participate in with the Chinese nationals? They were talking about the weather. They were talking about transferring of power to the Chinese people in exchange for dollars. Bribery. <clears throat> As they said yesterday, after Hunter Biden called Joe the first time, Joe Biden should have called Hunter up on the, immediately thereafter and said, don't ever do this again. It's against the rules of ethics in federal government. You cannot do that to me. Did he do it? No. He talked all the time because he was getting paid. Sooner or later, they're going to come up with a money trail. And sooner or later, they're going to come up with more indictments for Donald Trump just to keep the focus off of Joe Biden. The EV is going to go the way of the pet rock here in the United States. We need someone who likes this country, who likes the people who live here, who governs for the people of the United States, not for the idiocy that's going on at the southern border where fentanyl is coming in and killing our citizens, illegal citizens, someone who loves the United States, the country that he was born in, the country that he lives in. That's what we need. We had them. Every once in a while you get one. We don't have one now. I'll see you tomorrow the Howdy Boomy Show, the Howdy Boomy video podcast on YouTube, a daily short brief observation of this baby woman on what's going on in the world. God bless you. God bless America. Go to howdyboomy.com, spend a couple bucks and make another baby boomer happy. I love you. See you tomorrow.